this guy straight up has a whole iceberg on his car. What are the odds you pass I mean, I don't get what the point of this was. One, two, three, three. Go. Shut the fuck up. You go a little faster than that. You go over like 61. I hope he pulls you over. Oh my god, he's pulling you over. Why? I mean, I don't get why the car in front didn't just go f to the right lane right away. Oh shit, I thought it was my car. Oh shit, these guys all hit. Well, they hit each other. They fucking slammed into each other. Oh my god. Jesus fuck. Holy shit. I mean, like, what was this guy even thinking? I mean, I'll even blame them because this is a stupid design. I don't get why this guy was trying to pass while he was so far back. So this guy took the wrong turn and ended up here, but I mean, how could you just not tell? This guy must have never heard of yielding in his life. This one's not entirely his fault because of the ice, but it's still kind of bad. This is a shock For some reason, all these people are trying to stop ambulances. I mean, I just don't get it. The ambulance that was responding on blue lights to reports of a male who had collapsed. On Wednesday the 2nd of February this year, paramedics in a marked ambulance for South Central Ambulance Service were driving along the A4 Bath Road, Reading towards Maidenhead, when 38-year-old Albert Butler deliberately tried to obstruct the emergency vehicle. Moments earlier, a dash cam fitted on the ambulance shows the emergency vehicle overtaking Butler, who was driving a red Suzuki Vitara. However, moments later, Butler of Windermere Road in Reading decided to risk not only the safety of the emergency ambulance crew, but also the safety of other road users, 
when he overtook and tried to slow down the emergency ambulance. The emergency ambulance continued along the A4 and Butler proceeded to overtake other members of the public who had pulled over to allow the ambulance to pass. Butler then slowed down again, blocking the ambulance's path and he continued to block the path of the ambulance along Wargrave Road where he continued to brake heavily, weave in the road and enroach onto the wrong side of the road. The driving was captured on the ambulance dash cam and was also partly recorded by the ambulance crew passenger on her mobile phone. The shocking behaviour of Butler not only stunned the life-saving emergency ambulance crew but also shocked other motorists as they let the ambulance by. How the idiot behind the wheel of the red Suzuki ever thought that he would get away with this disgusting behaviour remains a complete mystery. Thanks to the mobile phone and dashcam footage of Butler's ridiculous driving, it wasn't long before the long arm of the law caught up with him. The emergency ambulance crew lost vital minutes in their response time as they rushed to try and help a man who needed their life-saving assistance. Butler was later convicted of dangerous driving and obstructing and hindering an emergency worker. On the 11th of November at Reading Crown Court, Butler was sentenced to eight months in prison, suspended for 18 months, was ordered to complete 20 rehabilitation activity requirement days and was ordered to complete 200 hours of unpaid work over an 18-month period. He was also banned from driving for three years and was ordered to pay costs of 